Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send payment confirmation and reminder message for mess booking. So I have a Tiffin Center and my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive the payment from Razorpay for this monthly plan of the Tiffin Center, then I want to send the confirmation message to all the customers on WhatsApp of receiving the payment. And I also want to receive the notification for myself. And because this is the monthly plan, I also want to send the payment reminder to all the customers at the end of this plan for making the repayment. So how we are going to automate made this entire process. For this, we will have to set up a connection between Razorpay and WhatsApp and that we are going to do with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So here Pabli Connect works on two principles, trigger and action. So in trigger, we are going to take Razorpay and in action, I'm going to take WhatsApp Cloud API with the help of which I'm going to send and receive WhatsApp template messages. And we are going to set up a connection between them without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate mess booking system with the help of Razor Pay and WhatsApp. So I am running a Tiffin service with the name as Tiffin Treats and my objective is that whenever I am going to receive a payment for the monthly plan of Tiffin service, then automatically I want to receive the notification for that payment and I also want to send the notification for the confirmation of payment to the customer itself on WhatsApp and then finally after 28 days of the payment, because it is a monthly plan, I also want to send a payment reminder to all my customers customers reminding them for repayment of the Tiffin service so that they will be able to continue my Tiffin service for the next month as well. Along with this message, I'm also going to send the payment link. So in a loop, this workflow is going to continue forever. For creating this automation, I'm just going to set up a connection between Razorpay and WhatsApp and that I'm going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Fably Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So this is the home page of Fably Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL fably.com slash connect in our browser. Browser. After coming here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fably Connect, where we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. As you can find, I have multiple folders over here. I have, I have created all of them to save my workflows in different folders according to my choice. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this Create Workflow option. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Send payment confirmation and reminder messages for mess booking on WhatsApp. After giving this name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I've already created a folder with the name as WhatsApp Marketing Automation. I'm going to save this workflow in this particular folder. I've selected that and now let's click on create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. So as I already told you that Pabli Connect works on these two principles, trigger and actions. So basically these two are the main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So action is the response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's suppose our objective is that whenever we are going to receive payment from Razorpay, we want to send a payment confirmation to the customer. For that, we are going to take Razorpay in our trigger and WhatsApp Cloud API with the help of which I want to send WhatsApp template messages to my customers in our action. And we want that whenever the payment will be received, automatically the message should be sent. So clearly we can see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the payment is received for mess on Razorpay, then only the message is sent to the customers, otherwise not. So after understanding this concept of trigger in action, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, let's select our trigger application and that will be Razorpay. Okay, so I have created a payment page for my Tivin services on Razorpay and I want that whenever I'm going to receive the payment from that same payment page on Razorpay for Tiffin service, then I want to receive the response over here. So I'm going to select the trigger application as Razorpay. Let's select that. 
and now we have to select the trigger event so trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start so payment captured will be our trigger event over here so whenever the payment will be captured the response will be captured over here in public connect as well now as we have done that we can find that a webhook url is provided to us along with some instructions so we have to connect our razor pay account with public connect with the help of this url which is provided to us so this is a unique url which is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from razor pay towards public connect and how we are going to do that how we are going to build the connection for that the instructions are provided to us over here we have to read them very carefully and we have to follow them exactly so i'm going to first of all copy this webhook url and then i will tell you exactly what we are supposed to do so i'm going to take you towards my razor pay account this is my razor pay dashboard and you can find that i am currently working in test mode so this is the test dashboard of razor pay now here we have to go towards the payment pages so i'm going to go towards payment pages and i'm going to show you first of all the payment page which i have created for my tiffin service this is the payment page and this is a test payment page as you can see i am working in test mode okay so i'm going to open the page first of all okay so here are all the details which i have in my page with this payment page i want to receive the payment from the customers for my tiffin service now before doing that first of all we have to set up a connection between razor pay and pably connect for that we have to go towards account and settings and here we can find the option of webhooks let's select that now to create a new webhook we have to click on this add new webhook button we have done that and first of all we have to paste the url which we have copied from pably connect in this particular field now the next is the active event so this is very important step we have to go towards pably connect once again and and it is given over here in the instructions that now we have to select payment captured from the active event so that whenever the payment will be captured the response will be captured in pably connect as well okay so here i'm going to select payment captured as active events and now let's click on create webhook as we have done that our webhook is saved successfully so let's move back towards pably connect and here it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission how we are going to do that by making the payment on the payment page which we have selected so once again i'm going to take you back towards razor pay we will go towards payment pages and i'm going to open this payment page of mine okay this is the link of the payment page so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to open it in a new tab and now the page is open this is for tiffin treats here the description for my tiffin center is also given over here indulge in culinary bliss with tiffin treats enjoy a monthly subscription to our tiffin center where each payment unlocks a month long journey of delectable flavors and culinary delights from savory sensations to sweet surprises experience the convenience of joy of monthly base payments while savoring the best of tiffin treats delivered straight to your door so this is the payment page and here we have multiple options to select and basically i provide only two plans monthly plan plan and the plan for 2 months okay so in the monthly plan the amount is 3600 but if the customer is going to select the payment for 2 months then he will have to pay the double of this i am going to first of all enter the details in these fields to make the payment so the amount is already selected which is fixed so here i am going to select the payment for and it is for tiffin treats now here i am going to enter the name email and phone number of the customer and because i am doing a test submission therefore i am going to enter the dummy details over here okay so let's say the name of the customer is dummy user okay email is dummy user 98@pablitudes.com and here i'm going to enter a random phone number okay done now i'm going to select the plan type as monthly let's click on pay and here i'm going to make the payment with the help of a card so because i'm doing a test submission therefore i'm going to enter the dummy card details over here to make a test payment so i'm going to enter a dummy card number a dummy expiry date card holder's name will be dummy user and a random cvv now i'm going to click on pay now i have entered a random otp and here the payment is successful so as we have made the payment now let's go back towards pably connect and we can find that yes we have received the response over here in pably connect as well so in the response we have received all the details this is the status of the payment that is captured this is the order id this is the plan type monthly plan phone number payment entity notes payment for this is this means that for which the payment is made here is the name of the user who has made the payment email address payment method and all other details so because we have received this response that means our connection between razor pay and pably connect is successful now when we will scroll down in this response we can find that we have also received the amount but if you remember that the amount which we have made the payment for was 3600 and here we can find that it is given 360000 the amount is wrong over here and it is given like that because in razor pay whenever the payment is received two zeros are extra every time in the amount okay so in order to remove these two zeros so we will have to now remove these two extra zeros and how we are going to do that with the help of number formatter okay so we will simply select our action application as number formatter let's select that 
So number formatter is an amazing inbuilt feature by Pabli which allows us to format the numbers in the workflow according to our requirements. Okay, here I'm going to select perform math operation with the help of this math operation I'm going to divide the number that means the amount with 100 so that we will be able to remove the two extra zeros. Okay, now let's click on connect and now it is asking us to select the number which we want to format. Okay, so we have to format the amount which we have received in our earlier response. So we will simply map the amount over here. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. When you scroll down our previous step, here are all the details. So we want to map the number. Let's select that and it is mapped over here. So when we have mapped this number, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, now it is going to be replaced. So whenever a new response will be captured from ResorPay, automatically the amount in this field is going to be replaced with a new amount of that new response. But in case if we will enter the data manually over here, then it will become static and then it is not going to change with each and every new response. Therefore, to automate the entire process, we use mapping. Okay, so now when we have mapped this number, we will use a comma. And here, because I want to divide this number with 100, so I'm going to enter 100 manually over here. It is given in the instructions that whatever operation you want to perform, you have to enter them like that. For example, if you want to add 100 plus 200, then you, ha then you have to enter 100 comma 200 in that condition. Okay, now we have to select the operation. So I want to divide. So I want to divide the amount with 100 to remove the two extra zeros. Therefore, I'm going to select divide over here. And let's click on save and send test request button to receive the response and in the response we have received the correct amount. So in this way now every time whenever we are going to receive the new response from Razorpay, the number is going to be divided automatically. So let's click on this add action step button now to move forward and now here I want to add one more condition in this workflow. So the condition is that that whenever I'm going to receive the payment from this particular payment page different reads then only I want to run this workflow otherwise no because you already know that we are going to receive multiple payments for multiple purposes from, from Razorpay and we cannot run this workflow for each and every payment. Therefore, in order to create the workflow for specific cause, we have to apply a condition and in order to apply a condition, we have to use filter. Filter is again an inbuilt feature by Pabli which allows us to set conditions in the workflow according to our requirements. Our action event over here will be filter values and now let's click on connect. So it is asking us to select the filter. What filter you want to apply over here? I want to apply two conditions over here. First condition will be that if I'm going to receive the payment from my page, different treats, then only this workflow should continue. And the second condition over here will be that if I'm going to receive the payment on monthly basis, then only the workflow should continue. Okay, because then only I want to send the payment reminders. Otherwise, no. So first of all, I'm going to set one condition that if in the response, I'm going to receive the payment, so here we will select payload payment entity notes payment for Tiffin treats. And if the payment note will be equal to Tiffin treats, I'm going to enter it manually. Then the workflow should continue further, otherwise no. So because we have mapped the label from our previous response, that means now with each and every new response, it is going to be replaced. And because we have entered the value manually, so it will be same each time. So if the value will not be equal to the label, the workflow will stop over here. So after setting up the first condition, I'm going to click on this AND condition over here. And the AND condition over here will be payment type. So we are going to select the plan payment type and, and if it will be equal to monthly, then the workflow should continue further, otherwise no. Now, after setting up these two conditions, I'm going to click on save and send test request button to check whether the conditions are true or not. And here we can see that the conditions are absolutely true. So now whenever a new response will be captured and one of these conditions will not be fulfilled, then the workflow will stop over here. Okay, so after setting the condition, let's move forward. And now because first of all, I want to send the payment confirmation message to the customer. And for that, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. With the help of WhatsApp Cloud API, I'm going to send the template message to all the customers in the customized format. Okay, so I'm going to first of all select my action application over here as whatsapp cloud api and then we are going to move forward okay so our action event over here will be send template message let's click on connect now from the given options i'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with whatsapp cloud api account if you already have an existing connection you can also go with that but to create a new connection you will first have to enter three details over here token phone number id and whatsapp business account id now in order to get all these details first of all you have to set up your whatsapp cloud api account and then you will find all these details under Meta for Developers. So I'm going to take you back towards Meta for Developers. And this is app dashboard of WhatsApp Cloud API under Meta for Developers. Now, from the left side, we will find the option of API setup over here. And here are all the details. So this is the access token. This is phone number ID. And this is WhatsApp business account ID. First of all, I'm going to copy phone number ID. And we will paste it over here in this field. Now, the next is WhatsApp business account ID. So I'm going to copy it and paste it over here. And finally, we will copy the token as well and paste it over here. Done. In the same manner, you have to find all the details. And now let's click on save. 
As we have done that, we can find that WhatsApp Cloud API account is successfully connected with Fably Connect. So after building this connection, let's move forward. And here we have to enter the details in these fields to send the WhatsApp message to our customers. First of all, we have to select the template name. So what is the template which you want to use in order to send the confirmation message to your customers? So here I have already created a template with a name as Tiffin Treats Customer to send confirmation messages of payment to all my customers after they have made the payment on Razorpay. So I'm going to show you this template first of all. So this is the preview of the message which I am going to send. Hi dummy user, thank you for your payment. Your next month of delicious meals is all set. We are excited to continue serving you with our mouth watering dishes. Your ongoing support means the world to us. If you have any special requests or dietary preferences for the upcoming month, feel free to let us know and we will be happy to accommodate them. Looking forward to delighting your taste buds again soon. Best regards, Stephen Treats team. So this is the simple message which I am going to send for the payment confirmation to tell my customers that their payment is successful and their plan plan is continued for this particular month okay here i have used a variable in this particular template for name wherever in the template we are going to use variable the data of that place is automatically going to replace so i have used variable for name so that i will be able to send the same template message to all my customers in the customized format along with their own names okay so now let me tell you how you can create your own template for that once again you have to go towards the app dashboard of meta for developers under api setup and you will find over here that to create your own message template click here when you are going to click on this hyperlink, it is going to take you towards the template section of WhatsApp Cloud API. From there, you can create your own template. And once you will complete your template, you also have to send it for approval. Once your template will be approved, you will be able to use it in order to send multiple messages to multiple people. Okay, in the customized format. Now, my template is approved. So, I am going to select it over here. So, my template name is Tiffin Treats Customers. Okay. I have selected the template name and when you will select your template name, your language code and the template ID will also be selected automatically. Now here we have to enter two details, recipient mobile number and the body field. So first of all, we have to enter the number on which we want to send this message. We want to send this message to the person who has made the payment. So let's select that and we have mapped this number. So it is going to replace with each and every new response. Okay. Now the next is very important field and it is body field. In these fields, we have to enter the value for the variables which we want to use in the template. So I have have used only one variable in this particular template and that is for name so i will simply use the name of the customer over here in place of that variable so because i have mapped this name of the customer this means that now with each and every new response it is going to be automatically replaced and we will be able to send the template message automatically to each and every customer now we are going to click on save and send test request button but before that because i have used a dummy phone number over here therefore i'm going to enter a real phone number to receive a real whatsapp message okay so i've entered a real phone number and now let's click on save and send test request button and as we have done that, we can find that we have received the response. In the response, it is given that the status of the message is accepted. That means the message is sent on the number which we have entered over here. So let's go and check on WhatsApp. And yes, we can find that we have received the message over here on WhatsApp. And because we have received this message, that means our workflow is perfectly successful up till now. So let's move forward. Now, apart from sending the confirmation message to the customer, I also want to receive the notification for myself on WhatsApp that the payment is received. Okay, so for that, once again, I'm going to add one more action step over here. And now I'm going to once again select WhatsApp Cloud API as our action application to receive the notification as well. I've also created a template for receiving the notification by using WhatsApp Cloud API. So by using that template, I'm going to every time receive the notification for the payment which I'm going to receive on Razorpay for my Tiffin Treat service. Okay, so here I'm going to select the action event that will be sent template message and let's click on connect. Now from the given options, I'm going to select existing connection only because we have already built a connection with WhatsApp Cloud API account recently. So let's click on save. And now here we have to enter the details. First of all, we have to select the template name. So the template name is, so this time the template name will be Tiffin Treats Notification. I'm going to once again take you towards WhatsApp Cloud API. We will go towards the template section. And this is my template which I have created for receiving a notification of the Razorpay payment. So I'm going to open this. And here you can find that this is the template. Hello, the monthly payment for Tiffin services received from a customer. Here are the details. Customer name, email, amount paid. Check this out soon. Regards, Tiffin Treats. So this is the template which I am going to receive every time whenever the payment will be made. And because I have used three variables over here for name, email and amount, so the data is automatically going to be replaced. Now, after selecting the template name, we can find that language code and template ID are also selected. So let's move forward and here I am going to enter the recipient mobile number. I want to receive the notification on my number, so I am going to enter my own number over here once again 
and after entering the number on which we want to receive the message here we have to enter the body fields in the body fields again we have to enter the values for the variables so the first variable which i have used is for name of the customer so i'm going to map the name of the customer over here now the next will be the email of the customer and at last the amount which he has paid so for the amount we have already used number for matter let's map the correct amount over here and now we are going to click on save and send test request button as we are doing that we can find that we have received the response and in the response it is given that the message is accepted so let's go and check whether we have received this message for ourselves or not and yes here we can find that we have received the notification for the payment receipt because i have entered my own number so therefore i have received this message on my number only okay payment received hello the monthly payment for tiffin service is received from a customer here are the details the name of the customer is given over here as dummy user this is the email and the amount paid okay so this means that our workflow is successful up till now now we have to move forward towards our next action step and that is for sending reminder message on whatsapp to the customer for making the repayment of the tiffin service plan for the next upcoming month okay so i want to send this message before the plan end date that means after 28 days so here when we are going to receive the payment from razor pay on that same date the plan is started okay and this is basically a monthly plan so it will be for 30 days okay now i want to send a reminder message for repayment of the plan to the customers after 28 days of making the current payment okay so i want to create a loop over here that every time i'm going to receive the payment the plan will be started and after 28 days a reminder message will be sent to the customer for making the repayment okay so i am sending this message after 28 days that to before 2 days of the ending of this plan for sending the message after 28 days we will have to make this workflow delay so up till this step of sending the reminder message sending and getting the notification of the payment confirmation we will have to wait for 28 days for sending the reminder message for the upcoming month okay so let's click on this add action step button and here we will simply apply a delay so delay again is an amazing inbuilt feature by pabli which allows us to delay the workflow according to our choice so so if you want to delay the workflow for a specific time you can do this with the help of this function now we have to select the action event that will be add time delay we have selected that and now let's click on connect after setting up this connection we have to answer the question how much delay you want to put in workflow so we have two options over here delay for and delay until if you want to delay the workflow until a specific date so you have to select delay until over here but because i want to delay this workflow just for 28 days and not a specific date therefore i'm going to select delay for over here now we have to enter delay unit okay so what unit you want to select for delaying your workflow i want to delay it for days so i am selecting it for days delay for days now we have to enter the delay value so i want to delay the workflow for 28 days so the value will be 28 over here so now the workflow is going to be delayed for 28 days let's click on save and send test request button and here the workflow is delayed for 28 days after 28 days what we want after 28 days we want to send a repayment reminder to the customers on whatsapp for making the payment for the next month okay so for that i'm going to click on this add action step button and once again we are going to select whatsapp cloud api so that we will be able to send the template message to the customers for payment reminders here our action application will be whatsapp cloud api once again now we have to select the action event that will be send template message we will click on connect and you will go with the existing connection only and as we have done that whatsapp cloud api account is successfully connected with pabli connect so let's move forward here we have to select the template name so once again i'm going to take you towards whatsapp cloud api and we will go towards the template section once again and i have created another template for sending reminders to the customer i am going to show you the template hi name just a friendly reminder that your current month's different treats plan is coming to an end in 2 days don't worry though we have got you covered for another delicious month ahead to continue enjoying please remember to make the payment for the upcoming month your satisfaction is our priority and we can't wait to keep serving you if you have any questions or need assistance in the payment process feel free to reach out to us we are here to help thank you for being a valued part of different treats family we appreciate your support and look forward to continuing you continuing to delight your taste buds here's the payment link i will attach the payment link also over here and best regards tiffin treats team so this is the message now i'm going to select the template name and we can find that the template name is selected correctly language code and template id is also selected so we have to move forward towards entering the mobile number so first of all we will simply map the number on which we want to send this message we want to send the message to the customer once again okay after 28 days so we have mapped that now i'm going to enter the body fields and this time i'm going to enter the first variable is for name so i will map that and the next is the payment link so i will simply go towards my razor pay account this is the link of my page i am going to copy this and i will simply enter it over here 
okay so with this link the payment will be made and when we are going to receive the payment from this particular link automatically the workflow is going to again continue okay so now we are going to click on save and send test request button but before that once again because this is a dummy phone number i am going to enter my phone number over here real phone number and now let's click on save and send test request button as we have done that we can find that once again we have received the response and in the response the message status is accepted so let's go and check whether the message is received on whatsapp or no and yes here we can find that we have received once again the message for reminder this is the link of the this is the link of the payment through which the customer has to make the payment okay this means that our connection is perfectly successful and we have successfully built this connect and we have successfully completed this workflow now once again let's summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have taken very simple steps trigger an action in trigger we have taken razor pay and in action we have taken number formatter filter by pably and whatsapp cloud api apart from this we have also used a very important feature that is delay by pably and we have connected all of them with the help of pably connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive the payment through razor pay from a particular page which we have decided automatically a notification will be sent to the customer on whatsapp that they have made the payment for tiffin services and we will also receive the notification for the same that we have received the payment from the customer for tiffin services for the monthly plan and after 28 days because we have used a delay by pably automatically a reminder message will be sent to the customer before the ending of the plan that they have to make the repayment to continue the subscription for the next month as well all right so this was the whole workflow you can very easily create this automation by following the same steps for automating the entire process of mess booking by sending payment confirmation and reminders to your customers all right so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pably Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pably dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pably dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.